What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so we're finally here in Lily Cove City, the biggest city in the whole wide world. No, it's not. It's pretty much the Celadon Goldenrod of uh, Hoenn. Yeah, not too exciting and all that stuff. If you guys remember, in our last episode, we, we spent about like a good maybe 40 minutes just trying to get through this whole plethora of trainers and all that stuff, berries what have you and uh, we're finally here and uh, you know initially I wanted to go to the safari zone first but you know what hey you know let's go right here in Lily Cove we gotta take a small tour there's a few important things that we need to do before we go anywhere else you know you know how I am I'm very meticulous so as you can see we're in front of uh, Lily Cove in the Pokemon Center already healed up my Pokemon let's go ahead and talk to some people he's like I came from Kanto so did I the Hoenn region is beautiful with all its water and verdant nature hmm wait a second couldn't there be a rare Pokemon that live only in this area? That is true, I guess. I'm pretty sure. Quite a few Pokemon. Have you seen the strange cave in the cove uh, at the edge of the town? Yeah, I have. Not really. Okay. Let's go right ahead and go in here. Let's see, let's see. What do we got? Talk to this guy. He's like, the planet's biggest mysteries are at the bottom of the sea. Somebody said that, but I don't know. Okay. And he's like, there's a deep underground trench between Moss Deep and Sutopolis. Pseudotopolis or whatever and uh, that's what someone told me anyways so once you're here actually guys this is like the final area of Hoenn where it's all land before you go off to the other places the islands of Hoenn and all that stuff um, if you guys remember Hoenn very very uh, famous for both water type and ground type Pokemon uh, Groudon and uh, Rayquaza and Kyogre and all that stuff. And uh, if you go right here, this is the Trainer Fan Club. The names of trainers are scribbled all over the sign. Wow, okay. And if you can tell, yeah, there are some Team Aqua members right here. What are you doing here? If this whole wide world becomes ours, Team Aquas, or becomes ours, Team Aquas, it will be happier. A happier place for Pokemon. I, I, I still don't get their, yeah, I still don't get their method of doing all these things. I, I really don't. Now, in Lily Cove Town, or City, you can actually find a few important places, like the big old, you know, store, name raider, and all that stuff. Now, if you go right here, like, see, what do they do? Whatever anyone says, my favorite trainer is Doofer Gym Leader's, uh, Brawly. Okay. Everyone here, we're all huge fans of Pokemon battles. We discuss who we consider to be the strongest of all trainers. If you were to become famous, we might even become your fans. Hmm. Okay. And let's see. I've been hearing things about a tough new trainer. This trainer's supposed to be beating gym leaders even. Do you even know anything about this new trainer? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I, I think I could uh, muster up a few names here and there. You know, this guy <clears throat> flexing his muscles. My favorite trainer is cool, strong, and really nice. I wish there was a trainer like that. I think I, I, think I am. Or I don't know. I think I... Uh, I don't know. I... Actually, guys, I've only done it one time. One time out of the many times I've played Pokemon Emerald, Ruby, and, uh, and Sapphire. Um, eventually, once you get a good enough reputation, st or reputation, start beating everybody and whatnot, yeah, you're going to actually see these guys become your fan. Once you enter the door, they're going to just, like, you know, pop up with the exclamation mark, and they're going to be like, oh, my God, it's Draven, you know, that kind of stuff. And I think it's mainly because... You know, you're going to be seen on TV and all that stuff. I've only done it one time, guys, and I'm going to try and do it right here. Now, another place you could find right here is the Lily Cove or the Cove Lily Motel. Remember us, Cove Lily of Lily Cove. Okay. We just arrived here on our honeymoon vacation. We happened to see a dragon-type Pokemon flying up in the on the sky. Do cool Pokemon like, uh, like that live in Hoenn? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're talking about that Pokemon that, you know, we dare not speak its name just yet. On our honeymoon, we vowed to see as many rare Pokemon as we can, so we were delighted to see a rare Pokemon as soon as we arrived. I mean, we are totally happy. Okay, that's good, that's good, alright, okay, and uh, what, what do you have to say? I was talking and relaxing and snooze at the seaside into the sound of the waves. Then somebody stole my Pokemon. Who's the abductor, Team Aqua, or is it Team Aqua? Hmm, okay. I wonder if we're going to find... Uh, that Pokemon. I'm pretty sure she gives you something. I don't even know. Been a while. Really, guys, it's been a while. Now, if you go right here, you're obviously going to see this guy. He's like, hmm. So they doubled the guests by using Pokemon as attractions. Hmm. Well, maybe I should make a cute Pokemon our inn's mascot. I wonder if that will attract more guests to stay with us. 
Oh, sorry, sorry. I was too involved in watching TV. Since Team Aqua came into town, the tours have been staying away. Okay, alrighty, okay, so... Team Aqua, you jerks, you bastards, and uh, would you look at that? We all remember this guy, our favorite fan. He's like, Scott, snore, snore, snore. Huh! Oh, sorry, sorry, I was sneezing, or snoring! I came to check out the Pokemon contest thing. I have to admit, it does look quite entertaining, but... Consider me a purist, I prefer battles and tough trainers. But that's just me. Draven, I hope you'll enjoy everything like the gyms, contest, battle tent, the whole works. Okay. Alright, okay, alright. Um, apparently the battle contest or the, 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 the contest is right here, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I knew that. I obviously knew that, guys. I really did. I'm just playing. So this is the Pokemon Contest Hall, the gathering place of all trainers and all that stuff. And if you talk to this guy, he's like, there's a Pokemon Contest Hall right in this town here. This means well-raised Pokemon will come from all over the country. My heart swells with excitement. Now, in Pokemon Sapphire and Ruby, you will be able to find contest halls all over the place. In the certain places that you, you walk to, like Fall Arbor Town, um, let's see, Verdant Turf, I believe. I, I, like, I'm trying to think of everybody else. Oh, Slateport, yes. You can actually find every single, uh, you know, contest hall. But in Pokemon Emerald, they've been replaced the Battle Tents. And I think you can actually, you know, just... I think this is just the main place. The big cheese of every single contest now. In uh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, this is actually, the, like, the, the Elite Four of contest halls and all that stuff. But it's just been changed to, like, a th like three-for-all or whatever. So if you talk to this lady, she's like, Hello! This is a reception counter for the Pokemon contest. Oh, it appears that you don't have a Poke uh, Pokeblock case yet. In that case, we need to provide you with this. We get ourselves a Pokeball case. And, uh, yeah, we really need that because, you know, we're going to go somewhere else that needs that. Well, pretty much requires it. Okay, now that we're clear, or we're clear on that, hello! This is the reception counter for Pokemon contests. Would you like to enter your Pokemon in our contest? Let's go ahead and see this info right here. Which topic would you like? Let's see, so we got three questions. We got what's a contest, types of contests, and rank. So I'm going to just explain it all, you know. I'm trying to be meticulous and all that stuff for you guys. Let's see, a contest, in, or a Pokemon contest, involves four trainers entering one Pokemon each in competitive judging. A contest has two stages of judging, preliminary and secondary. Or I should say primary. <laughs> primary judging is a popularity poll involving the audience. Secondary judging uh, features appeals by Pokemon using their moves. Plan appeals carefully to earn the most attention of the judge and excite the audience. Do your best to stand out. The primary and secondary scores are added at the end. The Pokemon garnering the highest score is declared the winner. And okay, so let's go with the types of contests. There are five different kinds of contests. Of course, yes it is. Cool, beauty, cute, smart, and tough are five categories. Choose the contest that, that is right for your Pokemon and if you plan to enter. Okay, so if you guys remember, you know, I keep, like, every single time I keep on capturing a Pokemon, I always go from, you know, regular uh, attacks to, you know, what kind of contest they would enter. You can actually find out what type of contest your Pokemon is speci well, specific specifically good for. I can't even speak right now. Holy Jesus. Now, if you go to ranks right here, there are four ranks of Pokemon contests. Normal, Super, Hyper, and Master. No, there's no Super Saiyan in this. There's no Ultra Instinct. There is nothing like that, man. I wish they had that. Hmm. Four ranks. In a normal rank, any Pokemon may enter. Any Pokemon that won a normal rank contest may move up to the super rank in the same category. In that same way, a super rank winner can move up to hyper rank and so on and so forth. Yeah, to the master rank and all that stuff. <gasps> oh god. I had a big, big, big dinner, guys. I'm sorry. A Pokemon that won the master rank may compete in the master rank as often as a trainer wants. Okay, that's pretty much. Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. Now, a cool thing about the Master Rank is that, you know, once you win the Master Rank, you can always go to the, uh, what was it called again? The the Art Gallery here in Lily Cove, and your Pokemon's uh, portrait will be on there. I've only done that one time with the Blaziken, and, uh, you know, maybe I should do that right here. Now, let's see. If you go right here, it's just like, welcome to this Pokemon contest. Link reception counter. You may enter contests with more one or two or three or four friends or whatever. So this is, the like, the Link Cable place right here. So I'm not going to do that right here. Um... Now, let's see, let's go ahead and talk to some of these people right here. They're all here, obviously they're here for a Pokemon contest. It's like, wow, coming out to the contest is a feast for the, uh, the eyes. Would you like to look at all the Pokemon that just, uh, that just scream to be painted? Huh, okay. 
This guy's like, day day in and day out, I lavish my care on this Pokemon. Its condition is peaking. Today, victory is mine. Okay, all right. Let's see, what is this guy you have to say? The toughest contest is like extreme man. Those muscular appeals, cascading sweat, I swoon. Oh, okay, all right. You can see a whole variety of Pokemon here. That's why I make this place a regular part of my daily stroll. Okay, all right. So she likes it just because whatever. Okay, so that's a good thing. And he's like, I made Pokeblocks with my mom, dad, and big sister. They turn out great. I bet you can make smoother and better Pokeblocks if you have more people. That is true. Make Pokeblocks and put them in there. When you uh, make a Pokeblock, everybody has to put in different berries. Okay, all right. Where do we make these Pokeblocks? Oh, right over there. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's like, Whoo, boy, Master Rank Conscious, here I come. The world will know that my dearest Pokemon is the cutest being in all existence. The time has come. <laughs> well, obviously, he has no problem being a Pokemon Master and all that stuff. Now, if you guys remember, yes, uh, the, what was it called? The Berry Blender? I think that's what it was called. Yeah, Pokeblock Berry. Yeah, the Berry Blender right here. You can actually, um... Grab a few berries, choose whatever berries you want, and, it, and like one of the people in here said, it, many people that put in the berries, the more the better mixture that you're gonna get. As you can see, you got one, two, and three people right here, just to help you out in what kind of berries that you want to make. This would actually, um, this would actually not be here, I believe, in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, because you know, like I said. These Pokemon contests are all over the place, but right here you you can you have the option of one, two, or three right here. And uh, you know I'm actually thinking of actually doing the whole Pokemon uh, Berry contest or some kind of Berry contest right here. Now, if you look at this, you'll see Toughness Contest Master Rank Bailey's Pulse. Holy crud! So you're gonna be seeing quite a few winners right here. Look at that Smartness Contest. Oh wow, this guy looks like evil, just evil. Evil and wow, coolness contest hyper rank Hannah's Guzan. Obviously, that's a zigzagoon or thing, or no, no, it's not a zigzagoon, it's a whatever his name is. And what does this say? Oh, okay, well, you got records right there. Now, if you you can just enter whenever you please, guys, and you're gonna be able to see some of the contests as you can see. Look at that, I'm just crashing the crashing the contest right here. Look at that, yep, streaking, I'm streaking. I'm not going to talk to anybody right here, but this is exactly where you'll be doing any of the contests that you guys would like to enter. Normal rank, hyper rank, super saiyan rank, whatever. Okay, so enough about that. We got something that we needed. Now it is time to explore more of the Lily Cove uh, city right here. Now if you talk, go in here, I think you'll be finding some quadruplets or something. Alright, so, let's see. Oh my my, are you traveling alone? But you're so young! Good for you. I'm sure my kids would, lo uh, would learn a thing or two from you. Me? I'm a master of Pokeblocks. If I get serious just a little, why I concoct a great Pokeblocks. Would you like to learn uh, from me a master of Pokeblocks? I guess so. Now if you go here, she'll explain to you what kind of uh, berries you could actually use to make the perfect Pokeblock, you know, for your Pokemon and all that stuff. Oh good, you're a smart soul. This is a bit long, so listen up. Are you ready? Hell yes. If you look at the Pokeblocks, you should see that they are rated on how they feel. The lower or the lower the rating, the better it is. Don't forget this. A good Pokeblock has a low feel rating and a high level. A Pokemon eat, can eat more good Pokeblocks than ordinary ones too. And this is important. If you want to make smooth Pokeblocks, use different kinds of berries. Don't be stingy. The kinds of berries affect the smoothness of the Pokeblocks. And another thing. One more thing. The more Poke, uh, the more people blending berries, the smoother the Pokeblock, uh, the Pokeblocks. That's why you should talk to other uh, people and make Pokeblocks together. That's that's all about, or that's about all you need to know about uh, about making good uh, Pokeblocks. If everyone had Pokemon they love, smooth Pokeblocks, and a loving family, the world would be a happier place. Don't give up, dear. All right, okay, so you guys got that right. We probably will be doing that. And if you talk to this guy, he's like, when my wife gave birth to my quadruplets, you bet I was shocked. But now, seeing them play together, it makes me happy. You see, that's... Believe it or not, that's the richest man in the world right there, because he enjoys the little things in life, you know? The simpler things. His kids, his wife, his house, that kind of stuff. Who wouldn't like that? And if you talk to this guy, he's like, do you know about the machine berry blender? Yes, I do. People have, or have to work together to get it to spin faster. The faster you can make it, the spin, the better Pokeblocks you can get, I've heard. Okay, alright. Cool, now, this right here is the Lily Cove City Harbor. Okay, the S's title, 
everything's you know okay so it's under construction right here now if you go see and talk to this guy he's like i heard that or i heard there's a tower somewhere out there in the sea roots it's called sky pillar right here oh huh, okay i saw this tall tower somewhere in route 131 could it possibly be hmm where is that well, i don't know let me see let me see hoenn map and uh, let's see 131 right around here okay so that's close to pacific lock town huh Okay, alright, so we got ways and ways to go to actually get to that area. Now, let's see, we've already covered these areas. Now let's go ahead and uh, see what else we can find right here. Oh, look at that, an old, an old couple. Even as we grow old and wrinkled, the, the sea remains forever young with the vivid vir brilliance of life. Foo -hoo 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 -hoo. I don't even know how to pronounce that, but that's good. Talk to this lady, she's like, It was 60 years ago that my husband proposed to me here. The sea remains as beautiful as ever. Move, foo, 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 foo. Huh. Okay. All right. Squad goals, guys. Or, I guess, relationship goals. If you guys are in a relationship and all that stuff. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry about me. I will find that perfect one, right? And here's a Pokeball. Holy crud! And we found a Max Repel. Why do we need a Max Repel? I don't even know. Okay, so I gotta get rid of something right here. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give this to... Huh. Oh, okay, okay, so I'm just gonna give this to this guy, and give that to, who should I give that to? You know what, I'm gonna give that to Guy of the Fierce Knight right here. And, uh, there we go, we cleared up some space, grab that, look at that, we got ourselves our first max repel in a while. And, uh, let's see, we grab, oh, wonder what this does, hmm. I don't know. If there's something special about that, guys, comment down below. It's been a while. It has been a while. Now, let's move on further right here with the small tour. Yes, we will be getting to a battle that we know we all have to get to. And, uh, let's see. There she is. We'll, we'll we'll talk to you in just a little bit, May. Don't worry. Don't move. Now, talk to this guy. He's like, hey, you! Don't go near the cave in the cove. Why? Don't need a reason why. I'm an adult, so you just listen to me. Okay. Now, if you go right here, guys, it's the move to leader's house. Uh, this is actually the place where you delete any kind of Pokemon moves that you don't need. So, thank, thank Arceus, huh? Thank Arceus that we're here, right? Okay, and now if you go right here, let's see what, I'm pretty sure they give us a move or something, I don't know. Pokemon are partners to people that, they are tools, unfortunately they are some people that, who fail to understand it. Huh, okay. Alright, okay, and, uh, let's see, we talk to this guy, when it gets right down to it, the same way suits suit me perfectly. A crisp breeze suits the sea. And you, a berry suits you with a tea. Why should why should that be so? And we get ourselves the lumberry. So if you guys go to this guy, he will actually give you a berry every single day. That's I guess that's cool. You know, we need berries and I think I should start planting some berries, I guess. I don't even know. Talk to this guy. Foo -foo -foo. We moved our more loot into our secret hideout today. Who who are you? I was just talking to myself. These people. I'm just a grunt, so I don't know what the boss is thinking. But being Team Aqua, I know I'll get a chance to do big things. Who are you? I was just talking to myself. You see, these grunts, idiots. Idiots. Now, if you go to this guy, he's like, hmm. You know the, uh, you know of the per, uh, peculiar cavern in the cove? That had been a neutral formation, but then Team Aqua lot, or Team Aqua lot came along and made their renovations. They call themselves the nature-loving Team Aqua. But what they do and what they say don't match at all. It really isn't. Yeah, they really don't. Alrighty, so if you go right here, and uh, let's see. Huh, what? What's that? I'm not near awake yet. You can have this. We get ourselves the TM44. Pretty awesome move, I guess. I don't know. Yawn. Sleep is essential for good health, sleep is, and regain health. That is true. That is true. As a personal trainer, you are supposed to be saying that, but whatever. Now, of course, TM44 is health or is rest very useful for any kind of Pokemon that, you know, is affected or anything like that, if you want to kill some uh, some of your Pokemon. Now, if you go right here, you'll be able to find this, the Heart Scale, which, you know, I believe in some areas you can actually use to learn some new moves, or I think, you know, get some stones or something. I can't remember. Oh, no, no, no. I'm thinking about red shards, blue shards, and all that stuff, so wrong stuff. Now, if you go right here, they're talking about this code right there. I'm not going to go there right now, but we will eventually get there just to see what's going on. And as you can see, we can't go any further until we explore, you know, everything about Lily Cove and the events that will transpire around here. Um, if you go right here, talk to this guy. He's like, there, Wilmer. Leap out of the water now. Huh? What do you want? 
You're messing up our training. So, so can you, like, get lost? Huh. Alright. Whatever, bro. Flipping you off. I'm flipping you off. Okay, so, let's see. Okay, we're gonna go down here. Before we get to our battle against our girlfriend, May, we need to talk about a few other things. Like, I'm an art dealer. I'm a buyer of and seller of fine art, especially paintings. I've heard that the museum here has magnificent works on the exhibits. Okay, okay. So this is the museum that I was talking about, guys. If you win Master Rank, your Pokemon's uh, portrait will be right here. And uh, we're just going to take a small gander of this whole place. It's a painting of a grass Pokemon swaying in the breeze. They appear to be enjoying the wind's gentle caress. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Sorry if I'm in your way. Uh, it's a painting of a beautiful, smiling woman with Pokemon on her lap. Oh, okay. This Pokemon is adorable, just like our little boy. Uh, I'm pretty sure your boy's, uh, whatever. Uh, let's see. This art museum. Well, you could see the men, the you could see many fantastic paintings, and the the curator is a wonderful person. Among artists like myself, this museum is an inspiration. Huh, okay. So as you can see, you're gonna you're gonna find a lot of portraits, paintings, and all that stuff. And the curator right there, uh, he's blocking the way to something. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's like, "I'm the curator of this museum of fine arts." It's heartening to see someone uh, as young as you in our museum. Have you viewed our collection of paintings today? Yes, I did. Oh, I do believe that you seem to be a Pokemon trainer. Have you interest in paintings too? If I say no, you're probably gonna get mad, so I'm just gonna say yes. Ah, excellent. Do you like paintings? Then may I ask you to come with me? All right, we're gonna go with you. Let's see. This is our special exhibit hall. As you can plainly see, there is not a single painting in the, on the exhibit. There are here, I don't wish to exhibit works of so-called classical art, such as classical works you can see on our ground floor. I wish to exhibit work that is far different from the classics. Art, after all, is not restricted to old and famous works. This exhibit hall I wish to fill with modern and vibrant artworks of Pokemon seemingly ready to spring forth into glorious life. I beg your pardon, I don't intend to manipulate or monop monopolize the conversation. Now. As you are or as you are young and yet obviously well traveled, you must encounter lively Pokemon and works of art depicting them. If you were to come across such painting, may we ask to obtain uh, the part the artist's permission to exhibit is exhibit it here. Okay, alright. So I guess you can actually go around and just, you know, around Hoenn and, you know, get the the paintings and put them right here but yes your pokemon's painting will be here at some point if you win a contest i think that's right in pokemon emeralds correct me if i'm wrong guys i'm you know it's it's been a while since i played it 2013 guys it's 2019 right now all right so after a long visit of lily cove and all that stuff let's go right here to our girlfriend may mm, how you doing baby looking good feeling good travel good I'm sorry, I, 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 I am going to use my Pokemon right now because I know you want to battle me like always. So here we go. Oh, hey, Draven. Are you shopping too? I brought a whole bunch of dolls and posters. Of course, I've also caught, them all, uh, caught a, a lot of Pokemon and I'm raising them properly too. Actually, I'm more worried if you're raising your Pokemon properly, Draven. I'll battle with you so you can show me your Pokemon, Draven. Sure, why not? The Pokemon I raise won't be beaten by your Pokemon, Draven. Okay. Alrighty, so, believe it or not, guys, this is the final battle that we're going to have against May. Yes, Game Freak kind of screwed the pooch on this one. And, uh, yeah, she comes out with her Tropius. Crud, I completely forgot she had a Tropius. Alright, so, let's see, do I have any moves? Nope, I don't have any moves that can beat it like that. So, let's go back to our guy, Raphael, the Ninja Turtle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Let's get this. And this guy's gonna be using his magical leaf. All right, okay, I see how it is. You're gonna be throwing a magical leaves at me. I'm just gonna throw a magical flamethrower at you. And of course, Droppy is, is faster than my Pokemon, so that's gonna be awesome right there. Here we go, flamethrower attack for the win. Get it, bye bye. Oh crud! Survived. Okay. All right, let's do this. See where you're at. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna act tough against me, huh? You a hater? A little heater. So here we go. Flamethrower attack again. And there we go. Tropius has been defeated. Not not a perfect victory, but, you know, it's still something. All right. So let's see what other Pokemon she has. Oh, Slugma. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Never mind. Okay. So let's go back to Swamp Lord. Swamp Lord wins. 
fatality. He already wins. Just by default, because he's awesome. He's freaking awesome. Alright, so Lexi, what kind of move would I do? Eh, let's go with the surf attack. Let's go with a clean win, not a muddy water. You know, I have more respect for May and all that stuff, you know. You guys already know. So there it is, guys, another victory. That's right, Swamp Lord kicking butt right here. And she's gonna come out with her best Pokemon, Grovile. So let's go straight to this guy right here. Skyblade. I just like saying its name, Skyblade. Alrighty, bring it on. So there's that Grovile wanting to take us on. And luckily for us, we got ourselves Air Cutter. But this guy's got Leaf Blade. Apparently, Grovile's faster than my Skyblade. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with it being a skill type Pokemon. But there it is, Air Cutter for the win. Eat it, Grovile. It's a shame it never evolves into a Sceptile or. Is it a Sceptile? Yeah. So here she comes out with a Pelipper. So let's go with Noob Cybot. That's right. Noob Cybot. That's right. Noob Cybot. The dark type Pokemon right here. And uh, she's going to send out her Pelipper right here. And I'm going to do this. I'm just going to go with a Thunderbolt because crud, there's that protect attack. Really? Okay. Alright. Let's do this. Do it for the win. Maximum effort. There it is. As you can see, Pelipper is no more. Feeling the burn, the effects of everything else. And Gaia grows to level 35. Look at that. Noob Cybot gaining levels like crazy. And uh, she's like, I remember the battle I had with you, uh, Draven. Or, yeah, at Route 103. That battle helped you to become this strong. Draven, or Draven, didn't it? No. I was already stronger than you, baby. I was already stronger than you. I'm thinking of going back to Little Root soon. I've caught a decent group of Pokemon, and my Pokedex is coming along, so I'm going home to show my dad. Draven, where are you going to go, or where, what are you going to do? Collect the gym badges and take the Pokemon League challenge? Well, while you're collecting badges, Draven, I'm going to work on my Pokedex. I'll complete it before you. See ya! Okay. Alright. Okay, so you guys already know what the Lily Cove uh, department store is. It, it's it, it's simple stuff. I'm not. Uh, there's not much detail into into that. Not gonna go in there. So that's pretty much it for this episode right now. Um, in the next episode, we're gonna be going to the Safari Zone. Luckily, we went into the the contest hall to get those Pokeblock uh, case and all that stuff. So yes, next episode we are going to the Safari Zone and check out a few Pokemon. You know, you know, show you guys how to capture some Pokemon in a Safari Zone. I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.